Welcome to the Perfect Vision Climb Max series of installation videos. Today we are going to be covering the installation of the base kit, the PV-CMX-B. This installation video is designed to augment the installation instructions, not replace them. Printed installation instructions are included with the kit and are always available for download on the Climb Max website, cmx.puush.com. Open your PV-CMX-B kit and inspect to ensure all components are present and free of any damage. Inside the lid of the box, you should find the installation instructions and serialized stainless steel tag. The serial number on this tag is specific to this kit and can be used to register this safety climb on the Climb Max website. Be sure to take photos of your installation to upload during the online registration. In the main portion of the box, you will find the head assembly, which includes three primary components, a pre-assembled center plate with attenuator, and two side plates. In the box, you will also have a shackle, a loose attenuator and washer plate for the bottom termination of the safety climb, a bracket for the serialized tag, and a bag of hardware. The hardware kit should contain two double saddle wire rope clips, two half inch by three and a half bolts, two half inch by one and three quarter bolts, two three eighths bolts, a thimble, one eye bolt, and finally two nuts and a washer for the eye bolt. You will also get a zinc carriage bolt and zinc wing nut. These are only to help with installation and need to be removed before the system is placed in service. The wire rope is sold separately and is available in galvanized and stainless steel and in various lengths up to 700 feet. All Climb Max wire ropes are 3 8 diameter, 7 by 19 lay. Before we get started with this installation, let's ensure we have all the tools needed. For the top assembly, you will need 7 8 inch wrenches and sockets. You will also need a set of pliers for the cotter pin on the shackle. For the bottom termination and tensioner, we recommend ratcheting box wrenches to make the installation easier. You will need 11 16 and 3 quarter inch sizes. You will also need a tool to trim excess length from the wire rope. Optionally, a force gauge, such as a small fish scale, will assist with properly tensioning the wire rope. Great, we've got all the parts and all the tools needed. Let's get started. First, let's determine what type of mounting tab we are attaching to. The PVCMXB can be installed on a vertical tab plate or a two inch square tube or channel. In this example, we have a vertical tab. We can install on vertical tab like this if the thickness is between quarter inch up to a half inch thick. We also need to ensure it has the correct hole spacing. We need half inch diameter holes that are spaced four inches on centers. The side plates are reversible and installation on a vertical tab plate, we need to install the side plates like this with the flanges facing away from each other. Use the zinc carriage bolt and wing nut to keep the three pieces together while uphauling and installing the head assembly. Install the head assembly onto the vertical tab plate with the provided half inch by one and three quarter inch bolts. The longer half inch bolts are used for square tube installations. Now that the head assembly is loosely bolted to the vertical tab or anchorage, we can remove and discard the carriage bolt and wing nut. Once the carriage bolt is discarded, tighten the head assembly to the vertical tab or square tube. Now connect the factory terminated end of the wire rope to the head assembly using the included shackle. Don't forget to install the cotter pin back into the shackle. Ensure that the wire rope is routed appropriately around or through obstructions on the tower. Remember, it is okay to route a wire rope behind an obstruction, so long as the wire rope and structure are protected from damage and alternate means of climber anchorage are present. Install a wire rope guide every 25 feet or less, alternating directions left and right to keep the wire rope secure when it is not in use. Ah! 
let's put together the bottom termination of this safety climb. First, attach the serialized tag to the bracket using the 3 8 inch bolts. Put the bolts facing out so that the lower profile head is on the inside. Now drop the eye bolt through the half-inch hole where the bottom attenuator is to be installed. For this example, we are installing it onto the leg-style bottom assembly. Feed the tag bracket, attenuator, and washer plate up onto the eye bolt as shown. The wider base of the attenuator must be facing down so the washer plate nests into its tabs. Secure these parts with the flat washer and one of the hex nuts. At this time, only thread hex nut on a few threads. Feed the wire rope through the eye bolt, placing the thimble between the eye bolt and the wire rope. Install the first wire rope clip as close to the thimble as possible while one person pulls up on the loose end to hold tension. If the wire rope is very loose after you install the wire rope clips, you may run out of threads on the eye bolt when tensioning it. Install the second wire rope clip three and a half to five inches above the first one. These double saddle wire rope clips are bi-directional and cannot be installed backwards like traditional U-bolt style wire rope clips. However, while tightening, you will need to go back and forth between all four nuts to ensure even tightness across the rope clips. Tighten the nuts on the wire rope clips to approximately 45 foot pounds. Now. Tension the wire rope by tightening the nut at the bottom of the eye bolt. 30 pounds of horizontal force applied two feet above the eye bolt should deflect the cable by approximately one inch. Once you're satisfied with the tension, install the second hex nut on the eye bolt as a jam nut to prevent loosening. Use two wrenches to tighten the nuts against each other. Finalize the installation by trimming any extra wire rope leaving between 6 and 18 inches of tail. Install serving or seizing wire to the cut end in order to prevent fraying of the end of the wire rope. Lastly, let's register the system via the Climb Max website by scanning the QR code or typing in cmx.puush.com. Type the serial number into the search box at the top of the screen. Click the blue button that says Register This Safety Climb. Change the status to In-Service and fill out the form. Once complete, a PDF copy of the report will be emailed to the email address you entered while filling out the form. Please remember this is not a substitute for the written instructions that accompany the product. On behalf of everyone at PV, thanks for watching this video and stay safe.